right, guys, we're going to get right to it. So I woke up at my parents' house and I am making some whole wheat English muffins. This thing was on sale. It was one dollar for English muffins for like a for like a bag. So I was like, OK, I'm going to get some. So on one piece, I am mashing some avocado uh this was like kind of going brown so and then i'm gonna grab a knife and i decided to add some peanut butter on the other piece i'm adding some all natural peanut butter and i've been really enjoying doing this because i like variety so i wanted both peanut butter and avocado and not only that i'm also gonna have some oatmeal this uh, superfood hot oatmeal. Basically, my mom went to Costco and got a bunch of free stuff. I don't know, does Costco do that? I guess so. And that oatmeal was part of it, so that's why I'm having it and there's my breakfast I'm also having like half an apple and the reason why I decided to slice the apples is because I had to give some to Nadi because she loves it and then I'm also gonna add some Montreal steak spice onto my avocado on toast because why not so usually when I film mukbang videos I'll either have the mukbang as my breakfast or brunch or I'll have like a really small breakfast but on this day I actually wasn't planning on filming a mukbang video which is why I had like a more filling breakfast so these were my calories and my macros good morning how you doing hmm Did we sleep in today? Yep. <laughs> Are you still sleepy? Oh my god, it's so cold. Ugh. So I wasn't planning on filming any sort of mukbang today, but Subway has a new Beyond Meatball uh, sub. So I'm like, I think I need to try this. <laughs> so um, I guess I'm eating uh, Subway for lunch. Having a Subway sandwich. This is the foot long new Beyond Meatball sub from Subway. This is supposed to be around a thousand calories, but I think that's including the cheese, which obviously I took off. So I don't know. I'm going to guess it's like, I'm just going to say a thousand, but it's probably a little bit less than a thousand calories. But let's see if I can eat it all. I don't know if I can. Who am I kidding? Of course I'm gonna eat it all. <laughs> so I just added the entire Beyond Meat sub, um, but once again, I took off the cheese, so it's probably a little bit less in calories, but oh well. So for dinner, I actually was feeling quite full because I had that entire foot long sub and that was actually quite filling. So I decided to make a bit of a lighter dinner. So I'm just going to make a very simple kind of tofu, smoked tofu and vegetable stir fry. So I'm just adding a little bit of oil here into my wok and I'm just trying to do this all with one hand because I filmed this all with my phone, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Full-time YouTuber? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's me. Just filming with my phone.
This is some gourmet cooking, guys. I'm adding some coconut aminos, which is kind of like a sweet soy sauce, but it's gluten-free and I think it's soy-free. It's really yummy, guys. And I also added in some edamame beans, so I just microwaved some frozen ones and oh my god, I'm trying to hold it with one hand and the plate was really hot, so I kept dropping it anyways. This is why I should use my actual camera and my tripod. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah, I'm not adding much to this. I just wanted a very simple veggie tofu bean stir fry. I'm adding here some sesame oil at the end. Mmm. And I would almost always have this with rice, but very surprisingly, I was still full. Uh, maybe because of the thousand calorie lunch I had. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah, because I was still full, I just decided to have it just on its own. And it was actually quite nice and satisfying. Who knew I would eat a low carb dinner by choice? Mm hmm. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I also added some toasted sesame seeds on top. And yeah, that was actually quite tasty. Here is what I added into my dinner. I just kind of guesstimated once again. I'm not super like obsessed with making sure everything is accurate, but that is a guesstimation. And then for my dessert, I decided to have some of this vegan yogurt that I got at the grocery store the other day and this one is mango and passion fruit and guys this was so yummy and i think it was quite uh, affordable because i got like three no not three four of them for like i think it was like maybe less than five dollars and it was really yummy so if you can find it i do recommend it it's super yummy and that was my little dessert mm-hmm and after dessert, I had to do a little bit of work, so I just made myself a little bit of tea, especially considering it was so cold on this day. So, a little cup of hot tea. Never hurt anyone. Mm -hmm. Now, here are my calories for the day. Uh, just a little under 2,000, apparently. Um, yeah, interesting. Is it interesting? I'm not sure. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.